On this episode of Taste This, we're doing lasagna Yonkers style. Yonkers style means, it just means thick and gooey and heavy and like lots of cheese and meat and ricotta and lots of layers of pasta and it's just good old fashioned Yonkers style. You gotta taste this. Hi, I'm Leo Damien and welcome to Taste This. I've spent much of my life in the kitchen with my large Italian family in Italy and New York. I've worked every position in the restaurant business. I want to show you the heirloom techniques and dishes I've learned from the eight matron cooks in my family. You gotta taste this. We're gonna do lasagna Yonker style, which is basically the, the, the what you think of traditionally as thick lasagna. Now I say Yonker style because when I was growing up as a kid, my grandmother lived in Yonkers and we'd go to Nani's house and and she would make lasagna and lots and lots and lots of layers and some meat and cheese ricotta and layers and layers and layers. It was like this thick, or maybe not like this thick, but still it was just incredible. And it was just one of my favorites to have. And then the next day, you know, after it's in the fridge, you take it out of the fridge and I ate it cold. It was so good and cold. I just ate it cold. And of course you can warm it up and you can have it, I just love it. So let's get going. So we're gonna start out first by browning up some of this meat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put just a little bit of oil in there first just to loop up that pan. I'm gonna get the meat in there. Here we go. Now let's get a little salt in there. Season it up a bit. A little bit of oregano and just a little tiny bit of red pepper flake. Okay, meat's done. Now we need to make a bechamel. Let's get the butter going in here. Add our flour. cook for about <clears throat> three or four minutes. We make a nice light blonde roux. You know, the, the longer you cook it, the darker it gets. You get a dark roux, you get something, you know, that you can use in gumbos or you can use it in some, uh, so many different dishes. You got some soups and stews, you got roux in and just, oh man. But we're gonna just do a, some light, light blonde. And we get some milk in the microwave that's been warmed up. And you pour a little bit of that milk in there. Now let's add some salt. Then we need some nutmeg. Always grind your own. Get the little nutmegs with the little grinder and grind your own. Now we need about a you know, quarter teaspoon. And this has got to cook up for about five, 10 minutes. You want to bring it to a boil with just that. Let's get our tomato ready. So, I got about three pounds of uh, San Marzano tomatoes and my food mill with the widest, the biggest holes in the food mill, on the bottom of the food mill. Now, I'm gonna bring our ground beef and just put it back in this other, this other bowl. And make the next thing. We're gonna do a simple pomodoro sauce. Really simple, simple. About a teaspoon of garlic in there. Get these tomatoes in here. Now let's get a little salt. Season that up. We have our meat, ground beef. We have our bechamel. We have our sauce going on. Ricotta. Got about uh, three or throw four pounds of ricotta here. Two large of those large containers. And I'm gonna put some spinach, chop up some spinach in the ricotta. Now, I'm actually using half spinach, 
and half kale leaves. We got a rough chop on this. And we're gonna put our spinach and kale right. There's about four pounds of ricotta and about a couple of big handfuls of spinach and kale. And three eggs. So with, a, with four pounds of ricotta, I'm using three eggs. Okay, so we got our, our bechamel, got our ground beef, got our tomato pomodoro sauce going on, we got our ricotta with our spinach and kale. Mozzarella, use a dry mozzarella. I got about two pounds, or two pound blocks of dry mozzarella. I use my, my uh, food processor with that little grater wheel on top of me. Get it done, two seconds, you got yourself grated mozzarella. Then, my granddaughter used a lasagna pasta that she would have to boil in the water first, and then she would build it with that boiled water and you'd fish it out of the water. But you can buy this uh, pasta now. It's delicious, it works great. You don't have to boil it. You can just put it in and it brings the moisture in from what you're cooking with and it's just a just a instant bake and it tastes delicious. It's great. So try that. The Yonkers lasagna is pasta ricotta, pasta ricotta, pasta meat, pasta ricotta, pasta. You got that? Pasta ricotta, pasta ricotta, pasta meat, pasta ricotta, pasta. That's it. That's the deal. That's the real deal. All right, so here's how you do it. Tomato sauce in the bottom first. Just a little bit. Okay, pasta. Now I can break off the corners a little bit so that I fit it in the corners. Like that. And you know, it doesn't have to be perfect because I just try to cover the whole area. Ricotta. Now, get some cheese in there. Get some sauce on top. And pasta. Try to alternate the way you uh, layer the pasta pieces. Okay, and then push down a little bit in each layer. Okay, ricotta. Pasta ricotta, pasta ricotta, pasta meat, pasta ricotta, pasta. The cheese. Sauce. Pasta, meat. So this layer goes with the bechamel. Wow, wow. All right, 
Let's get some aluminum foil on this sucker and into the 350 degree oven. Oh my god. <laughs> 